from Ghana, and he's had uh, 10 wins, 8 by KO. So, let's see what he has to offer. I'm sure the home crowd will be expecting uh, their men to do well. Let's, uh, let's see how the stats prove in this case. His opponent in the red corner coming from Ghana, Ozzy Adams. Here comes Ozzy Adams. Ten wins with eight knockouts, so we better not blink on this one, had we? very confident and so he should be he's unbeaten well, if you're just joining us uh, you're coming to us live from Prague Hilton Hotel this is seconds out streaming around the world and you're about to see Ozzy Adams from London, middleweight against Patrick Haruska from Prague. So he's the homeboy in this instance. Experience-wise, certainly had more fights. He's had 35 fights. But his record not showing as good, certainly, as Ozzy Adams with 10 fights, but with 10 wins, no losses, and eight knockouts. And we've had a few stoppages tonight, so who's to say this won't continue in that, in that way? In the red corner, Ozzy Adams! Come on, Ozzy! He seems pretty pleased to be there. This is going to be over eight rounds. I'm sure uh, Ozzy Adams has got other ideas, but... Uh, <laughs> Last instructions from the referee. I'm ready to go. go round one. This is over eight rounds. Middleweight. Ozzy Adams out there meaning business straight away. And Ozzy looks like he means business, doesn't he? He's out there and he's, uh, he's taking charge straight away. He's looking sharp. He's not messing around with these punches. Not much feeling out here.
putting a lot of effort into these punches. Haruska is soaking him up at the moment and doesn't seem to be too bothered. Well, he's turning these punches up well to the body, but now Haruska's got him back against the ropes and he's, he's running a with a few of his own. Some very good shots to the midriff is Aussie Adams. And again. Whether he feels he's seen a weakness there, but he's certainly uh, turning the shots up well to the wrist. He's looking for that shot. Arusko, having said that, doesn't look phased in any way. He's. he's Julie phased at all. Quite down for the end of the first round, and I'll, I'll give that clearly to Ozzy Adams for the workload. And but Mr. Harushka is certainly still there. whether Adams can keep up this pace. He was going out for a, uh, a quick stoppage. Maybe he doesn't find that quick stoppage. Can he, can he find the right pace to take him through to a victory here against Haruska? Haruska, as I said, doesn't look too phased. Two. Let's see if it's more of the same from Ozzy Adams. Well, he certainly started, hasn't he, at the same rate? He, he does like to go downstairs, doesn't he, to that to the ribs. I don't think Mr. Haruska's had enough, and he's going to show him a bit of what he's got. It's certainly still the same there from uh, Ozzy Adams. He's uh, pushing hard and he's certainly doing his, his utmost to, to get Haruska out of there, but Haruska's still there and he's got eight rounds to, to find from this. So. There must be something in these punches. He's knocked eight of his uh, ten opponents out. Crowd getting behind their boy. Let's 
Look at that uppercut. His timing's been out there. Harushka back to knock to the ropes. That's when he decides to let him uh, see what he has. Oh, that was a good. That was a good left hook there from Harushka, but with no effect. A little bit more control in Aussie Adams would uh, would maybe help the situation. He just seems to be trying too hard at the moment. Maybe a bit more control would have more effect. I think Arushka's wondering what he's got himself involved with here. Bit of a whirlwind. Certainly much more work from uh, Adams, so I have to give him those first two rounds. You could see Ozzy Adams looking for the exit there. Get himself out of that little uh, corner he'd found himself in. And he got caught on the way out. Okay, round three. full of ambition is uh, Mr. Adams. Swapping thing. Going to... to say, if he can maintain this um, this pace, he's... he's uh, It's uh, unusual when a boxer can decide to stop boxing, isn't it, and go to his corner without the referee's permission. But there we are. Ozzy Adams would have been within his rights to follow him up at that particular point. Obviously, being the gentleman he is, he decided not to. Well, he's certainly got a good work rate. Right? I just get the feeling that Harushka might be there right till the very end. Because one minute he's, he's got himself involved with here. It's not so much his unorthodox uh, Aussie animals, it's just the, his, his manner in which he, he delivers his boxing. Counting punches here, I think uh, well, the Adams would be well ahead. But once again, uh, Ruska has him in the corner and then decides to unload a few of his own specials. Well, the Adams has just turned those tables. You just feel if he could just calm down a little bit and uh, expedite these punches a bit more authority. Just maybe this fight would be over a bit sooner. Here we are, that's the end of the third. And on work rate alone, 
I'm going to give that to Ozzy Adams again. Breathing quite heavily in his corner is uh, Haruska. There's five more rounds to go, so we'll see whether he has the stamina. And we'll obviously we'll see whether Ozzy Adams has the stamina to maintain this speed. He certainly hasn't eased up so far. He's kept himself on the go. Adopting a very wide stance is uh, Ozzy Adams. Whether he feels he gets more leverage by doing that, I don't know. Whether he's using it to bring himself on a level with Haruska from a height perspective. He might find it easy to throw his punches. Of a rough diamond, isn't he? Oh, standing toe to toe now, trading off. Well, given Ozzy Adams' record, maybe he's a little bit surprised that uh, Haruska's still standing there in front of him at the moment, but he certainly is still standing there, and he, he looks pretty solid. I just feel that some of these shots are more arm shots. The, the power's not coming up through the legs in the manner it, it can, and if that was the case, that's when they become that much more hurtful. coming out from Ozzy Adams. <laughs> Obviously fancies the job, but it's going to be interesting to see how uh, he maintains. I'm looking at his record here, and I don't, he hasn't been eight rounds before in a professional fight, so... He, he's certainly winning these rounds. at the halfway stage so uh, with what Haruska has got to offer here and he can dig deep and bring something up which um, might just turn the tables a bit on Ozzy Adams but at the moment it's certainly all Ozzy Adams he's full of confidence that's for sure in his ability Five. I think uh, 
Harusko's got to actually pull something out the bag here and start, start turning this around. If he carries on in the same way, then Harusko is, uh, is, is obviously walking away with this at the moment. I beg your pardon, Adam is walking away with this at the moment. Well, a bit more intent now, look, from Harusko. Maybe he realises that. Shots, they're going to sting you, but they're not going to stop you, that's for sure. He's got to bring the power up through the legs, and I failed to see how he's going to do that with such a, a wide stance. Good variety of punches from Ozzy Adams. You just feel that he could just bring the style under a little bit more control, then he would be that much more effective. But then he's only had ten, ten pro fights. And having stopped eight of them, how can you complain? Well, was President of Muhammad Ali, I think. Well, he got caught there with a the left hook. I think the fact of the matter is that uh, there's, there's a great deal of work coming in and an enormous amount of punches coming in from Ozzy Adams, but they're obviously not, they're not having a desired effect at the moment on Haruska. And Haruska obviously realises that these are not hurting. Um, and he's still in there and he's still solid. And never know, and then he fancies his chances. That's where Adams is going to have to be careful. But he's still throwing these punches out. And his work rate really hasn't dropped significantly at all. You certainly can't knock him for that. Again, it's, it, it, it's hard to see how you can uh, get around Harushka because of the amount of work which is going in by Ozzy Adams. I know it's not necessarily always uh, pretty to watch, but the fact of the matter is that his workload is, is, is really quite intense. Certainly at this point, I, I, I believe that Harushka would have to stop uh, Adams if he, if he wanted to take this back. Confidences are Mr. Adams, that's for sure. Shots. 
he's certainly not bothered Hiruska with anything so far, and uh, that must be coming as a surprise to him because his record, as we've said, he stopped eight of his ten, so he must be wondering why Hiruska's still standing there at the moment. hasn't relented, has it? They, 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 he's still at it. I do believe that Haruska has come a little bit more into this fight in the last few rounds, that's for sure. Not enough, but he has picked himself up here. I think he's realised uh, after the initial whirlwind of Aussie Adams that um, he can run with it, he can go with this. And he's still there, and when he gets his opportunity, when he gets Adams backed up against the ropes, he will let go his combinations just to show Adams that uh, it's not all over and he's still there. I'm sure hopefully from this that Aussie Adams will also uh, be getting some uh, invaluable experience, as will his uh, team around him. Certainly the uh, fights he's had so far have taken place in uh, Ghana, so the level of opponent he's been against there, I'm obviously not sure of. Uh, however, a good uppercut in actual fact. Uh, that stumble was created by the uppercut. You might see that in the replay. I'm sure that uh, Ozzy Adams is on his way to a victory here. And um, first time he'll have done eight rounds. And outside of Ghana as well. So as I said, we don't know the level of uh, opponent that he's been facing in Ghana. But maybe this has come as a bit of a, an eye-opener for him. Boxing in Prague. Certainly against uh, Haruska, which I suppose we have to view as a, a journeyman of sorts, having uh, won nine fights in his pro career and lost 26, so 35 fights in total. And uh, Mr. Adams is used to blasting him out of there, but he's, uh, he's not been so successful this time, not with Haruska. He's been quite solid. Certainly earned his money tonight. Shots, and I think I think they are uh, troubling Haruska in actual fact. I must say though, he, he's a fit boy, is this Aussie Adams? He's maintained this level, you know, throughout this fight. Well, here we are, Haruska's pushing him back against the right, but he's been turned now by Aussie Adams, who's saying, "Well, no, don't worry about that. I've still got some to give you as well." This is a very good fight. I think it's a very good fight for Ozzy Adams. A great learning fight. I mean, I think he's clearly winning the fight. But he'll learn a great deal from this, that's for sure. Maybe I shouldn't say that at the moment. I don't know to go. Go, go, go. 
he's, he's lifting again here. He's lifting the pressure again now on, on Harusko. This is uh, this is good, good work output from Ozzy Adams. Ruska up there. He's showing a good variety of punches. Ozzy Adams, but he's unquestionably he's got he's, he's got a lot to learn. And this is not a bad way in doing it. Instructions from his corner, walk him down, high guard. And as I've said, one thing they can't fault him on is, is this work rate. It's, uh, I think uh, Harushka's um, gone back into a bit of a shell here at the moment. He's just happy to close through now for the end of this round and probably the last round. And stay on his feet. Okay. Well, once again, you've got to give that to Ozzy Adams. Watch when he comes out for this last round. You, you can bet your bottom dollar that Ozzy Adams will come out exactly the same pace as he did the first round. There's no let up. counters well here we go this is the uh, eighth and last round I'm sure Harushka will be happy just to uh, get through this and complete the eight rounds met the whirlwind Swapping his stance. That's it, walking down. Give them up. That's Very, very wide stance. Well, he's looking to try and finish this with a bit of style, isn't he? Ozzy Adams. I think the crowd are appreciating it. Mr. Ruska's got other ideas now. He's not going to let him uh, showboat too much. That was a good left hand. Ruska. Come on, alive with us on uh, seconds out in Jalapa at the moment. Around the world watching this. This is uh, Haruska against Ozzy Adams. Right, in, in a middleweight uh, bout. The eight rounds, and we're in the last round at the moment. We've clearly got Ozzy Adams ahead and, and winning. And the only way that uh, Mr. Haruska is going to do anything about that is by stopping Adams. He's not going to do that. Well, as I said, the one thing I am impressed about is his work rate. Right? 
lot of other things that might need tidying up, but uh, he's obviously full of confidence and ambition, I would imagine. Adams will finish on a an Elvis Presley shape. Who knows? That's it. And uh, Rushka raises his arms. I think he enjoyed that. Pretty used to going the distance is uh, Harushka, um, and indeed he uh, he's done it again there with Ozzy Adams, which uh, probably came as a bit of a surprise to Ozzy Adams, but I'm sure he gained a lot of experience from that. It'd be nice to see him again, see how uh, he improves. So, five minutes in the middle of the ring, please. And the winner, coming from a uh, red corner, Ozzy Adams! Well, well, there we are.